yeah, I'm no long I'm no longer black because Joe Biden, Joe Black Biden said I'm not black if Joe I don't black vote for Biden. Him. Joe Black Biden, man. Woo! Joseph Wait to- Joseph Mohammed Biden. <laughs> Everybody's having combos over COVID. Guest today, Mr. Very Dico. special. What type is oh my God. online? I am online. I am online. I'm online with Brian he, A. Oh. I had to go through a manager, an assistant, his bouncer. Who did? I got to, and I'm just kidding. Who? <laughs> I was Who? To, I don't have any of those things. I was trying to build you up. I ha- no, it's okay. Built me, built me up. You know what I mean. But you don't got to lie to the people. If we tell them the truth, you know already. I'm the one that had to reach out to somebody to get on this show. And to be honest, I don't think that's right. You know what I mean. I have enough credits that I should be able to just come on, be comfortable. But that's not. I should have been the first one, but that's not what happened. This who was first? Who did I have first for this? I think I did it with. Um... Uh, I'm just like a bunch not of me, Roche. not me. You, you yeah, 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 not yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, another not me. That's why. That's why I walked off camera, son. You know what I mean? I'm only going places where I'm getting respect, and apparently you have none. For me. Well, <laughs> I like your. I like your background. Your Thank background you. Comes in and out, and there's a picture of you. Akatsuki uh, clouds. Yes, because yeah. this, this is um, my wall of fame that's behind me. Actually, if I took if I took yeah. off the um. Let me see. Take off the background for a second. And boom. But yeah, it's a little wall of fame I have. Yeah, I mean, the um. This is my this is my wall of fame. It's a naughty pun. It looks great. It looks great. Yeah, what I'm saying. I'm up at the islands, uh, as you know, and you've uh, you've been here before. Um, we did together. Uh, and yes, that was tons of fun. Um, but on a it, very successful tour. It was very, a very well. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> it occurred. We were both present. Six well, seven, well, six, well. Seven, we were both. We were both present. Yes, yeah, we were both, both present. We were both there. We gotta. We gotta redo that when the um, world turns back on. But yeah. anyway, I'm getting in. I'm getting in the way of your intro. No, that, no. I mean, there is no intro. You, you've seen. You've seen. Oh. It, it's just like my stand up. There's no organized structure, and then it just ends. Yeah, no, we can't say that to people, though, because they're going to get the wrong idea. Stand-up is actually very professional. In a time when it's not happening the way it usually happens, we can't afford to poison the populace. Hope you're good. Yeah, I'm okay. I, I'm, I'm almost getting to my... Yeah, I'm almost getting to my breaking point of people going, yo, you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I'm okay. Are you okay? <laughs> Isn't that weird that that's how I react to concern? about genuine interest in my yeah. well-being it's crazy oh, yeah. well the other thing too is that we were i was talking with a friend and there's nothing to there's no experience to balance this off of like if you know someone who's a grandparent or parent passed away if you've experienced that you can be like i know what you're going through but when it's a yeah. pandemic the only people we can reference to are people who've like been through the spanish flu and that was world yeah. war one and none of them, yeah, and, you know what I mean? They're and like, all, all, the, all those people have now passed, unfortunately, you know. Yeah. And it what, what's crazy, what's not, not crazy is overused term. What's strange to me is more, um, you know, I'm here in the city and people that, people that think it's so dangerous, to be honest, or maybe it's just because where I'm staying, it's not all that different, man. It's not all that different. You have people that, you know, stay at home and they're in masks, but yeah. truth be told, it's pretty um it's pretty even. It's just everybody has to stay in their house. And in my like in my case, my hair is getting bigger by the day. You know, but that's great, about it. what's been the best part? I mean, this all sucks. None of it's good, but what's been the mm-hmm. part that you're like, actually I enjoyed this and what, what the follow up will be what's been the worst part? Um, the best part about this, I guess, has been reconnecting with what I've been able to reconnect with, right? So this girl that I lost contact with completely in 2018, and we were able to reconnect during this and got a lot closer than even we were before, I think. And she said to me, you know, because I, I was on the phone, phone cuff, and I was like, you know, I think I like you. And she said, no, you're just quarantined. As soon as she said, let you get booked and watch all that change. And I said, I said it too quick to like, we. she couldn't even be mad because she knew it was the 
that I, I responded from the hip. I didn't feel to myself. I was like, I hope you're right. And we just died laughing because like, that's not the answer I was supposed to say. You know what I mean? It was definitely wrong. And we laughed about how wrong the answer was, but how right she had probably going to end up being, you know, cause I'm, I'm obsessed yeah. with, I'm, I'm obsessed with work. And it didn't, it didn't take, um, it didn't take the pandemic to prove that to me, but it made it very, very clear. You know what I'm saying? Just how deep my obsession would go in, going to work, 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 then going home. You know what I mean? So when the pandemic happened, it's like, well, shit, there's so many people I haven't seen. And I'm talking, I haven't seen for a long period of time. I didn't know. She told me that last time I saw her was like, shit, this girl in 2018. And it didn't register to me that that much time had passed. You know what I'm saying? When you grind and work the way that you do, and I'm sure I'm not the first to tell you that, you know, Mm. there's days where I'll see how much you're working, how many shows you're doing. It does, Mm. it does push me. Like when someone calls like, Hey, do you want to do this show? And all I want to do is go home. I'm like, Mm -hmm. you and other comics. I'm like, I know Nico's work and I know uh, Eagle's work and I know, you know what I mean? There Mm -hmm. is a bit of like, all right, let's go. Like, yeah, you do, Uh you do the people around you. Right. So there's a lot of people that you end up just not seeing as time goes on. And then you look back and so much time has passed. But to me, I never really thought about it like that until this happened, you know, where it's like, damn. So basically all the 2019, which feels like a flash, 2019 in retrospect feels like a flash. Meanwhile, this, these three months feel like years, you know, it's fun. It's, it's, it's so funny how, this has basically been the length of a summer vacation in New York City is seemingly coming out of it, you know? Um, but I guess the best part for me is being able to get back to the simplest things. This first segment is brought to you by Friendship. Friendship. White women write about it on their bathroom walls. Here's a couple of the uh, quirky COVID questions. Um, okay. What superhero this is the- the pandemic that's going on what superhero would you want to be meaning which one's best equipped for this wolverine what superhero would you want to be in? wolverine 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 healing factor Why? you give me the co- you give me COVID 19 i immediately have the antibodies and you take my blood back and you have the cure yes yep that was the answer yeah hold on i'm let me no, give me one like, that was so me, well thought out give me one second this segment is brought to you by Wolverine. Whatever the question, the answer is Wolverine. Um, and I'll lead, I'm going to lead in. All right, so if anyone has seen this, this is a... This is a reenactment of me and Brian having a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is, how, this, is how, this is how Brian got me to do the tour last year. He said, if you don't come on the tour, go ahead. <laughs> If you don't do these upstate shows, mm-hmm. you ain't black. Yeah, you ain't black. Um, all, right. all right. So in case anyone hasn't seen it, here's right, the I've read some of your black agenda, and you say that you would decriminalize marijuana. What's the difference between legalizing it and decriminalizing Because they're trying to find out whether or not there is any impact on the use of marijuana, not in leading you to other drugs, but what it affects, does it affect long-term development of the brain? And we should wait till the studies are done. I Your brain don't work. work. What are you talking about? Decades of studies from actually smoking. First off, the best response to that, because that's always the liberal kind of, I'm cool with drugs, but not really response. Of, you we have the science. And he goes, hey, I man. There's so much, oh, there's man. so much science. And again, Joe Biden does not have the best memory you can't have his memory and talk about brain development to me mm-hmm. i'm sorry it's i i can't i can't play this game it's the middle of the pandemic i got real problems i, I, I can't i can't go ahead, go ahead. Um, gotta so watch these two we're rich gonna, motherfuckers we're gonna, we're gonna skip <laughs> over yeah these <laughs> we're gonna skip over uh they talk Bro, about look, look at their they backgrounds know. look at their backgrounds man Look at their backgrounds. Why are these Look two people art. even allowed? Why are these two people? Yeah, I have a fake red cloud behind me. This is a wall. First of all, the fact that they're even talking to normal people like this is crazy. It's crazy. 
Okay. Mr. Biden. It's, a, well. it's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. It don't have nothing to do with it. Ooh. I'm going to stop the share because I can't look at that visual anymore. Jesus. <laughs> can because again you'll know that you'll notice a couple things like we we took joe biden to task over this but nobody's really mad dog what you said was stupid and the reason why it was stupid is the words that you used i don't believe joe biden used the word ain't i don't believe it it's something about the word ain't that made it feel even worse the black thing it it made it 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 made it no you don't you you don't get to you don't get to speak on this it's one of those things where (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know you want to know what's worse you don't know what's worse it's Yo, one of those tell you about the black experience. <laughs> oh please continue the, the last democrat that we've had not have to tap dance for black people and talk down to us at the same time was obama you know why he didn't have to do it because he's smart the rest of these people seem to lose their intelligence when they talk to us and you don't have to do that since when is the vice president bro when have you ever seen Joe Biden talk to somebody like that? When have you ever seen Joe Biden lead in? If you don't go for me, you ain't black. What? He's a white comic in a black room. No, 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 no. He's an old man who's I losing his that. memory. That's something that your granddad would say to you. And you would go, oh, wow. That's something that everybody would laugh at. Oh, granddad just said that. And then back to back to the media that's acting like we're so outraged. No, we're making fun of him. He earned it. You earned it. You earned it. That's all it is. We're not overly offended. We understood what he said. But it's just like, Joe Biden, you don't give out black cards, bro. Uh, you don't give out black cards. The only reason you're even good in this area is because of Obama. That's it. Yeah. There was a great um, lecture, and I know you were a huge fan of him, as was I, mm-hmm. but you, you were lucky enough to uh, meet him. But Dick Gregory mm-hmm. had, and I'm sure you saw it, there was a great thing. They were talking about Obama had just been elected. He was mm-hmm. talking about when he talked to Clinton, and he used the analogy. Oh, oh about Clinton being the first black president or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, because it's like he's the first black pre- president for what? Because he played saxophone? <laughs> right. Because he because he smoked because he smoked weed. He also did the crime bill. <laughs> yeah, they uh, gave, I don't know. It, black Americans gave him more of a pass than they did for Obama. But I, I loved the analogy, and it's so perfect for what Biden's doing right now. Dick Gregory mm-hmm. goes, "I have a, a he goes, I have a grandson, and he's got a little toy house, and mm-hmm. he pretends that that's his house, and he goes, and that's fine. But mm-hmm. as soon as you start saying that that's your address, and people mm-hmm. should mail to you." then mm-hmm. you have a problem. And when yeah. he said to you know, Clinton, you can do whatever you want, but when you start saying, you know, this is my address, I'm a black president, now we have a problem. Yeah. Well and right. So because kind of leaning you, into that I you don't you, Obama. You're not you're not you're not a part of the fight with us though. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. easy to be because this is another thing that comes up with that um with the kid that got killed in Georgia. But there's a lot of there's a lot of people that get to be indifferent when we get killed. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that get to be indifferent. You look at Georgia, bro, that, that tape only got to come out because they were trying to prove that the people that killed that kid were right. Yeah. Think, think about that. Think about that. So you're talking about a state of people that put out video of a child for all intents and purposes. That's somebody's kid getting murdered because motherfuckers wanted to make a citizen's arrest. The audacity that you have to have to make a citizen's arrest in the first place, somebody that's jogging. And the fact that the DA put that out, not to spark outrage, but to go, this man is innocent because he killed a black person. There's a lot of people that didn't see a problem with that. There's a lot of people that if we would have shut up about it, they would have been happy we shut up about it. There's a lot of people that want us to shut up about it. This segment is brought to you by the saxophone making white guys look cool as hell since the 90s with that part we're gonna talk comedy we're gonna talk comedy all right let's talk comedy i'm not really qualified though don't you know that i'm not really qualified to talk comedy can't can't you tell by all these illustrious lists i never make (laughs) 
can't talk hey, about I'm, comedy. Let, let's talk about comedy. If you can't talk about black issues, he made it very clear. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I hate, I hate to have to have my black card revoked after all these years by the illustrious black leader that is Joe Biden. Man, I can't, I can't seem to wrap myself around it. You know what I mean? I, I, I ain't slept in eight days knowing that I, I'm, I'm no longer African American. Well, I don't, I, I don't. That's, that's something to talk about another time. But yeah, I'm no long, I'm no longer black because Joe Biden. Joe Black Biden said, I'm not black Joe if I don't black vote for Biden. Joe Black Biden, man. Woo! Joseph, to- Joseph Mohammed Biden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, ain't, and I ain't defending nobody. Oh, is that me? That's going to be you. But wait, before we talk about the album, uh, mm-hmm. the Potterhood podcast, I was uh, lucky enough to be on an episode. I listened We would to- like to have you back, by the way. You guys do an in depth, like I like Harry Potter stuff. You guys mm-hmm. like no stuff. Like, no, we don't. That's the trick, bro. No, we don't. There's so much winging happening on this podcast because you guys wrote the goddamn books by how much you know about this world. Nah, I'm 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 a I'm a nerd, bro. I'm a nerd. I've oh, I, I'm a, I'm gonna have to name something cool nerd one day. But I've always occupied that space, right? And the things that I'm interested in, I obsess over. So when we were going to do the podcast, Willie hit me last year sometime. And he was like, yo, do you want to go see Curse Chap? Will Posner, like, your, your, your co-host, in case anyone doesn't know. Yeah. So Will Posner, who's my co-host. And when he hit me up, like, yo, you want to go see Curse Chap? I didn't know too many comics that were Harry Potter fans. So I was like, well, let's do it. So we go see Curse Chap. And then after seeing Curse Chap, we should do like a podcast about this, right? I said it as something to say. And as like efficient as he is, Finna Day was like, yo, I got some, I'm down, I'm down, and I got somebody that's down to do it with us. He bought on Max, and then we just started going. So it's really one big riff, dog. It's one big riff. It's one big riff. This whole podcast a year later was born because we sat in the cigar in. And I said to Will, I was like, yo, Lily and James Potter have got to be the stupidest people in the Harry Potter universe as to how they got killed. That conversation then led to Will reaching out to me, reached out to me, and here we are a year later. The best podcast on Harry Potter, period, point blank. And oh, I'm not even, I'm not, like I'm not Potter. even, you like comedy. Yeah. I'm not, and I'm not even that cocky of a person to be like, oh, I have the best name. No, we have the best podcast talking Harry Potter shit. Cause it's not, it's not that serious. You know what I mean? It's not that to paraphrase, serious. To paraphrase Joe Biden, if you don't listen to this podcast, <laughs> you ain't a Harry Potter. You ain't, you ain't a Harry Potter fan. If you, if you don't listen to this podcast, you ain't a wizard. <laughs> Wait, I- Check out the Potterhood podcast where podcasts can be heard. Remember, if you don't like this podcast, you ain't a wizard. Uh, the intro clip to your album? Right. Yes. Uh, hmm. It's that loud. Man. Listen to that crowd, bro. Do you hear that? that? Jacket brought to you by Mikey May. Jacket by Mikey May. Shout out to Mikey. Bro. And he's another one that you all should check out. The mad genius, Mikey May. Hey, oh listen. Let me tell you something. You 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 can cut you cut it off. Cause then I'd have to hear my voice, which would make me uncomfortable. But man, I know. let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And I, I I can't be any more honest than this. That's what made me feel better. That's what made me feel better. Because I'm telling you, when I when we did that back in October, I didn't know what we had. Honestly, I didn't. I didn't know what. I didn't know what we had. I when I did that show, I wanted to do something because I hadn't seen my crowd in like two years. Right? I did a 10 year anniversary show in 2017, and then I was just, you know, I'm doing shows. I'm touring, but my main group of people hadn't had their own show with me. So I put out, and I, 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 again, none of it was planned. I had no idea. I said, um, I put on Instagram on a whim. I said, do y'all want, 
would y'all care if I did a big show in the spring, right? And vote came back 100% on the poll. And you, you know how it is. We're all narcissists. It's not like I thought it wasn't going to come back that, that way, but I was surprised that it did, right? That would have so, been, been, been really funny, though. Like, should I do this album? <laughs> and it's like, no. Check out Nico's new album, Marcellus, with the links below and anywhere albums can be purchased. Perfect way of segueing into uh, the album can be found, and we're going to attach below. It can be found on Spotify, mm -hmm. YouTube. Um, mm -hmm. Can they go to your website and also find it? You can go to my website and find it, but look, it's av it's available everywhere. If you want to buy it, you can buy it on Amazon, iTunes, Google Play. You can buy it everywhere albums can be bought. If you want to stream it, it's on Spotify, it's on Pandora, it's on all that stuff. If you're broke, right? And I don't and I don't say this is a joke. I'm actually very serious. If there's anybody who might want to listen to it, and I, I get it, times are weird. Unemployment might be taking a minute. If you want to listen to my album and you have a way of reaching out to me, just reach out to me. I'll send it to you. I'll email you the tracks myself. You don't, I, it's not about the money. You know what I'm saying? I'm on, the only reason this is out is for people that either like me or like something similar to me to be able to have something to hear until we can actually get back to them. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what the album did for me. It's a me out of a bad place. So if I, if I could do anything to help somebody else that might be feeling weird, then by all means. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, boom. That huh? has been, I said Nico White does not disappoint. Uh, yeah. Interview or uh, on a boat. That guy <laughs> can do. You guy never let me drive. Boat. You never let me drive the boat, man. I'm very bitter. You as never let me drive the boat. Up, as soon as you come up, I'm going to hand you. How would, I get, how would I get up there? I don't drive. Huh? Uh, I don't drive. Um, we'll, I would have to get somebody to rent a car with. We'll figure and, it out off air. Um, yeah, let's figure it out off air. I, I want to thank my uh, favorite guest, uh, Nico White. Uh, we, haven't done these in a while. we haven't done these in a while. We took a break. Um, and I'm so glad that we're doing them again and you're our first guest back. Uh, and, buddy, uh, thank you for having me. I appreciate you, but you know that already. I do. Um, so this is Combos Over COVID with Nico White signing off. All the attention hey, can be found. Hey. Hey, let me tell y'all something. If y'all don't watch conv convos, then you ain't black. You ain't black. Uh, uh, that's how I'm signing out. Yo, yo. Thanks for checking out this week's episode of Convos Over COVID. Check out the links below for everything Nico White related. And we'll see you next week for the next episode of Convos Over COVID.